Unreal Engine 4.21 makes some changes to the way the physical lighting units work. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. One of our bigger changes, if you have one of the lights selected under intensity, you can actually see the designator. Here we have eight candela units for this light. If we go to this light, eight candela units. This one, we now have 10 lux. And then this one, we have one CD over M2 for our intensity. So the lighting type, the lighting measurement, let's go back to this one and we'll go down right here. Our intensity units are displayed inside the actual intensity variable. Now, another thing, if we were to change this and make it brighter, for example, but decide, oh, we don't want it in candelas anymore. Let's go to lumens. It's no longer going to cause an issue when you swap back and forth. It'll adjust it automatically. Whatever value you have, when you switch intensity units, will now maintain that brightness. As long as, along with resetting. So if we reset this to our default value in lumens, it's going to go back to the appropriate value. Unit list is 5,000. Candelas is 8.0 and lumens is 100 point and other numbers and you can see Adjusting and resetting it's going to maintain that intensity value when you swap. So that's something that's nice Now as you may have noticed we have default Intensities for different light types. So our point light and our spotlight are in candelas our directional light is in lux and our Skylight is going to be in the CD over M2, and those are changes to each of them as their default intensity type. Post-process auto exposure settings can be expressed in EV100 now for an extended range of scene luminance. So if we go to our post-process volume right here, and we look up auto, you'll notice we now have these in EV values. You can adjust that in the project settings. So if we go to project settings, and then we look for all, and then we look up auto, and then we scroll down because auto is probably too big of a search. We're going to find right here under default settings, extend default luminance range in auto exposure settings. So that's going to change it from the older values, the Lux, into the EV100 to give you a more broader range. And as you can see here, we now have those values. Now, one thing that's nice is the HDR visualization for auto exposure has been updated and works in EV100 as well. So go to visualize HDR eye adaption. And you can now see this graph. So you can see the histogram down here as we adjust our view. And you can see the eye adaption going up and down. But this right here, picture-in-picture -picture preview, is actually a real-time value of what it's going to go to, the unaffected value. So it's useful if you want to preview something maybe in a dark scene or extremely light scene. It's also visualized in EV100. And again, we get that picture-in-picture -picture and the nice histogram. One last thing, if you're using the Pixel Inspector, so we'll go to Window. Developer Tools, Pixel Inspector. We'll go ahead and move this over here and turn it on. You can now see the pre-exposure color values inside your scene if you enable it. So here we can see our Pixel Inspector with our different values. And we can see our pre-exposure setting. Of course, under Project Settings, All Settings, we'll go for Exposure. You can find it right here. Apply pre-exposure before writing to the scene color. It gives us an expanded way of working with our scene color. If that's enabled, we now have access to the pre-exposure color in our pixel inspector. And that's it. Those are some of the major changes to our physical lighting units in Unreal Engine 4.21.